when I engage into these practices, I call them tantric sex. I don't just call them tantra. Yeah. I call them tantric sex to make it more specific and to make a distinction with just like everything that has to do to be yeah. tantric. So what it would look like, the first thing it is that the intention with which we engage into the connection is very different than just sensual grat gratification and just passionate sex. The intention is we are going to open a temple together. We are going to open a space where we are going to offer our connection as a divine prayer, as a sacred prayer. So the intention is completely different. It's like you activate uh, a sense of devotion and resonance by inviting forces that are bigger than ourselves. It's not just two people. We sing mantras, we activate, we have the temple, we have the sacred geometry, we have like a whole lot of elements that are present in the space that give a sacred dimension to the space. And then if you see us engaging into uh, beautiful lovemaking, from outside it might look very similar. You'll be like, wow, you're caressing each other, kissing, uh, having intercourse, you know, all of these things might look like the same, but the quality of the experience is going to be different. Exactly in the same way as if we do breath work, there might be breath work as a, as a therapeutic thing, as a shamanic thing. It has different connotations, right? Even though outside it looks the same. Somebody who goes to a, to a gym and might do some stretches, you go like, wow, that looks like yoga, but it's not yoga, yeah. right? It's not yoga. Why is it not yoga? Because it's not a prayer. The moment we add the mantras, we add the sequences, then we add an intention that is different.